Can you manifest a specific person even if they blocked you? Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how to manifest your specific person even if they blocked you. But first, if you would like to get coached by me to help you manifest your specific person, I offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery, where I show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do this. You can get instant access to this by clicking the link below in the description box. I also offer monthly membership coaching to help you manifest anything you want. You can get access to this by clicking the link below in the description box. And finally, I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you manifest anything that your heart desires. You can get access to this by also clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. Can you manifest your specific person even if they blocked you? The answer is... Yes, you absolutely can manifest your specific person even if they blocked you. And the reason why I made a video on this is because of some of the questions that I'm getting in the comments that I thought would be obvious when I say circumstances really don't matter and they're relevant. But I've been getting a lot of questions recently where you guys are asking me, well, what if my specific person has blocked me? Can I still manifest it? So this video is for you. Yes, you can absolutely manifest your specific person even if they blocked you simply because them blocking you is a circumstance and circumstances are irrelevant. Circumstances don't matter when you are manifesting your specific person. It is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if your specific person told you they hate you, they want to have nothing to do with you and they blocked you. It doesn't matter even if Maybe you are feeling guilty because you're, you were really mean to them. You said some really horrible things to them. None of that matters. And I know these are your fears that come up, but in this video, I'm really going to break down why none of that actually matters. So let's go back to some basics here. How does manifestation work? So if you want to manifest a version of your specific person that is madly, deeply in love with you, that only has eyes for you, that only wants you, and that is in a loving, committed relationship with you... All you have to do is think as if you are the version of you that has your specific person through affirmations. Remember that affirmations are just the thoughts that you are thinking. So every time you are thinking a thought, you are affirming. So all you have to do is begin to affirm, me and my specific person are in a happy, loving, committed relationship. My specific person adores me. My specific person loves me. I'm always prioritized. I'm always chosen. I am always good enough. And... You do this through repetition, okay? So you affirm, 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 affirm this new story through repetition. Now, once you saturate your subconscious mind with these new stories that imply you're the version of you that has your specific person, so that these new thoughts become dominant within you, dominant meaning you're telling the new story more than you're telling the old story, your subconscious mind has to produce proof of this to you in your 3D reality. This is when your specific person will come to you. Right? They will have a change of mind and a change of heart. They will come to you and confess their undying love for you. This is how it works. It is that simple. All you have to do is think as if you're the version of you that has your specific person, saturate your subconscious mind with this, and your subconscious mind has to produce proof of this to you in your 3D reality. This is when you'll manifest the version of your specific person that loves you. So even if they blocked you, it's irrelevant. One minute they blocked you. The next minute they're unblocking you and not even unblocking you, they're actually coming to you and confessing their undying love for you and telling you that you are the love of their life. This is how it works. Now, I understand that a lot of you have fears around the old story that, you know, well, I said this to them or they said this to me. And so these are the fears that come up. I understand it. I get it. I, I've been there. Okay. That, well, you know, when me and a specific person were together, I said all these horrible things to them or say, they said all these horrible things to me or they did this to me and I did th this to them. So, you know, your logical mind wants to say, but how can it happen? Right. That fear comes up. Or, well, this can never happen. I was so mean to them or they were so mean to me or whatever story it is that you, you, you have going on. I understand. I get it. The thing that you want to understand here, though, is that all of that is irrelevant because when you're manifesting the version of your specific person that you desire, you are literally manifesting a different version of them. You're never really technically changing your specific person. The version of your specific person that blocked you that doesn't want to be with you exists in a specific timeline. What you're doing when you change your dominant thought patterns so that you're thinking as if you're the version of you that has your specific person is you're simply shifting timelines. 
Right? You're shifting to a new version of reality where that version of your specific person loves you, adores you, and only wants to be with you. So you are shifting timelines. This means that this new version of your specific person is not going to hold on to the old story. They're not even going to remember it because you're in a new version of reality with a new version of them. I can tell you this from my own experience and from the experiences of my clients. So in my own experiences, which I'm going to share is that, you know, when me and my husband um, split up like last year for a bit and we had signed separation papers, right? That version of my specific person of my husband told me that it was never going to happen that the only thing that he wanted to talk about was logistics, okay? So that version of my specific person wanted nothing to do with me. And the reason why that was, was because I manifested it, right? I had an assumption that said, this man is not my husband. I did nothing to change my stories or my thought patterns about him. And then boom, it manifested into my reality. So that version of him wanted nothing to do with me. And to give you some context, the version of my husband that I had before before that incident happening was a man who was like very compassionate and very loving, um, who absolutely adored me. Okay. But then I began to have negative thoughts about him and I did nothing to change it. I got sloppy with my thoughts. Okay. And so bang, I manifested the version of him that now wanted nothing to do with me that only wanted to talk about logistics. It was literally like a personality transplant. Okay. It's like, I had never experienced that version of my husband. I was like, who is this person? It literally was not my husband. Okay. Um, so that manifested into my reality. Okay. But because I understand how this works, I understood, okay, well, I, I manifested that version of him. Um, so I can easily manifest the version of him that I want. Okay. I'm going to change my thought patterns. So I began to think as if I'm the version of me that is in a happy, loving, committed relationship with my husband. Okay. I began to think me and my husband are in a loving, happy, committed relationship. Um, he can't live without me. I'm the love of his life. I'm always prioritized. I'm always chosen. I'm always loved, etc., etc. And I saturated my subconscious mind with this new story so that this new story became dominant within me. And once it became dominant within me, my husband came to me at a change of mind, right? 28 days from the day that I started affirming, 28 days later, he comes to me and he's like parroting back to me my affirmations. Okay, telling me that I'm the love of his life and he wants to be with me and all the things okay so again it was like a, another personality transplant because 28 days ago the man that I experienced he was like it's never going to happen I don't want to have anything to do with you it was almost like a 180 flip okay <laughs> to now oh my gosh you're the love of my life I only want to be with you and the funny thing is about this is that you know when me and him broke up it wasn't like loving and peaceful it was very explosive right and there were a lot of um harsh things or negative things that were said to each other Okay. But this version of my husband that is now in my reality doesn't even remember them. This version of my husband is saying that he never even wanted to break up. Right? He was like, oh, I never wanted to break up. He doesn't even remember half the shit that I remember. And that's why it's so fun because I understand, oh, I'm just in a different timeline, right? Where there's a different version of him now. So he's not holding on to all those old stories or all the things that happened in the past because I literally manifested a different version of him. I might remember it, but he doesn't because he's a new version. He's a different version, right? That aligns with my new stories. And this is why you don't have to worry about what happened in the past. What happened in the past is completely irrelevant. You're literally manifesting a different version of them, right? The version of them doesn't want you, doesn't want to be with you. That will always exist in a specific timeline. That never goes away. So you're never fixing your specific person, you're never changing them. All you're doing is changing your story so that you shift into a different version of reality, a different timeline, where that version of your specific person loves you, adores you, and only wants to be with you. That is all that is happening. So they're not really going to hold on to what happened in the past because this new version of your specific person, all those things that happened in the past, didn't happen to this version of your specific person right? So it's going to be very fleeting for them. Like they, they either, they will not remember a single thing. They won't even remember that they blocked you or they, they said X, Y, and Z to you. Cause it literally is a new version of them, or they might remember bits of it. But again, they're not holding on to what happened, right? So rest assured, you don't have to be scared about and fearful about all the negative things that you did or said to each other, none of that matters. It's like a clean slate, right? When you begin to affirm your new story, think of it like a clean slate, you're literally shifting into a new timeline. And as mentioned, you know, I have experienced this firsthand with my husband. I can tell you right now, whenever we talk about what happened last year, 
in his mind, he's like, oh yeah, I never wanted to break up. I always wanted to be with you. And I'm like, in my, at the back of my mind, I'm like, it was a very different story when the actual breakup happened. It was like a completely different person, right? But I understand it's because, oh yeah, that was literally a different version of him. I was in a different timeline and now I'm in a freaking new timeline. So of course this version of him only has eyes for me, only ever had eyes for me and only wants to be with me, period. So it doesn't matter if your specific person blocked you. I understand the logical mind is going to be like, but they blocked me because I said X, Y, and Z and I was so mean to them or we had an explosive argument or, you know, I think some people commented uh, in the comment section of some of my videos, but can I still manifest them even if the police were involved and this, that, and the other? And it's like the past is so irrelevant. It doesn't matter. That's in one timeline, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter what happened in the past, how explosive it was, what was said, none of that freaking matters because you're literally manifesting a new version of them that probably won't even remember what happened in the past because it's literally a new version of them, okay? So when you saturate your subconscious mind with a new story that implies you're the version of you that has your specific person, your subconscious mind has to produce proof of this to you in your 3D reality, right? So if your specific person has currently blocked you, irrelevant, right? As long as you keep persisting with your new story that says, you know, we're in a happy, committed relationship. I'm always prioritized. I'm always chosen. They love me. Your subconscious mind will take care of the how in the 3D, right? So one minute your specific person is thinking, I, I don't want to have anything to do with you. The next minute they're thinking, oh my God, you're the love of my life. Um, they, I, I can't live without you. They will literally have a change of mind and a change of heart. And what's really happening there, what's really happening there from a high level is you're simply selecting a different version of them. You're simply selecting a different version of reality. That's all that's happening when you're affirming, okay? And in the 3D, it will translate to, oh, my specific person had a change of mind or a change of heart, right? But in reality, you now understand that actually, I just selected a different version of them, okay? So in the 3D, you know, whatever needs to happen, whatever needs to be moved, will be moved in order for them to come to you and confess their undying love uh, to you. So, you know, one minute they blocked you, the next minute they're unblocking you. It's that simple. One minute they blocked you, the next minute they're like literally at your door with flowers um, apologizing to you. Okay, it's that simple. All you have to do is just think as if you're the version of you that has your specific person and your subconscious mind will take care of the how. You literally do not need to lift a single finger in the 3D. You, you don't. Okay, they will come to you. Like when I manifested my husband back, I never lifted a single finger in the 3D. I was just like, I'm just gonna saturate my subconscious mind with a new story. And then he came to me, he sat me down and said, you're loving my life. And you know, I can't live without you, et cetera, et cetera. That is how it works, quite literally. So it doesn't matter if your specific person blocked you. It doesn't matter if they ghosted you. It doesn't matter whatever happened in the past, it's irrelevant because you're literally manifesting a new version of them. And that new version of them does not hold on to the old story of what happened. This new version of them probably won't even remember because this new version of them never experienced that to begin with. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. Mwah.